I know, I mean, we don't work with Tyron necessarily, but uh, what's it what's it do for y'all, or what does it mean to, to have him back in the lineup? Oh, um, man, that's big. You know, um, he just, you know, he's he sets a standard as far as, like, you know, how a pro's supposed to go about it. And uh, just having him out there is, is just big. Uh, kind of just feed off of that energy, feed off the way he played the game. And um, it's going to mean a lot to the team. What have you learned through the years about how much or how little to pay attention to the game you just played when you're getting ready for Thanksgiving? How do you do that? How do you shift gears mentally? Uh, it's just how you really just evaluate yourself, you know? Um, you know, it's uh, everybody has ability, but we got to play up to, you know, that uh, that 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 ceiling. You know what I mean? And I think that's the biggest thing you can go back and learn from the tape. Um, so just continue to work, um, look at the things that you did, see the things that you can do better. Do you have to lie? Get, tell, you have to lie to your body and tell you that it's it's really ready when it doesn't think it is on this week. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's it's all it's mental. Um, you know, it's all mental. We, we definitely know what time it is uh, when you have games this close. So you got to take the mental part of the game and just stay locked in and stay focused. When you look at the run game the last four weeks, we've seen a, a sharp decline in it. How important is the continuity of the offensive line and getting the run game going? Um, it's big. I think that that's the foundation of um, – getting the team rolling because I think the guys up front on offense and defense set the tone for the team. So the way we come off the ball and go that way, uh, knock the finish that way, uh, sets the tone as far as, you know, what kind of team we're going to be. And so, um, you know, we just got to do a better job up front um, and, you know, give our runners, you know, the, the space and opportunity they need to make plays. How important is Tyron Smith on that left side, particularly for the run game. What does he do there? Um, his effect up front. I mean, you just you always seen him on blocks, and he stay on blocks. Once you get on blocks, he stay on blocks. So that's always good. Anytime you're running uh, strong or weak, you know, and um, it's just big uh, type of player that he is. I see. Why are you guys always the first to lead the team out? Uh. <laughs> It's just something that started, you know, before I got here, uh, the tackles always run out first. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's been great to be able to do that, lead the team out. Does Tyron say anything before y'all go out? Or, or do you guys say anything before y'all run out? You know, Tyron don't really say much. <laughs> you know, especially on game day, you know, especially when you strap that helmet up and it's time to go out, you know, you might hear, you know, 10 words from him throughout the whole game. <laughs> How about your pregame warm-up? When you guys are out there way early for everybody? Yeah, warming up. <laughs> I don't know why we warm up that early, but that's what he's been doing since he got here. And uh, I just got accustomed to doing that with him. Uh, just, just a pregame routine. So if he doesn't say much, how do you guys communicate? Oh, we, we talk. You know, it's just like when it's game time, he don't really say much, you know. He don't, he just be locked in. Uh, he's a different dude, you know. So. So it's a little unspoken between you two at this point. Uh, you know, something like that. <laughs> but uh, but like you know, when we when we rolling, he might say a few words here and there, but he don't really say too much. What are your impressions of these two defensive ends of theirs? Uh, they're they're under that uh, Marinelli roof. So <laughs> one thing I know about him, you know, he like guys that that get out to the quarterback and guys that can uh, disrupt up front. And um, when you turn the tape on, that's what you see. So, you know, we got to do our best job, you know, playing to our standard and setting the tone. Can they be run off? I mean, I know Cincinnati did a good job last week. They like to get up the field and right. get to stop running away from the quarterback. Mm -hmm. run Absolutely. I mean, anybody can get run on. Anybody, you know, can go out there and get beat. You know, it's all about uh, the approach you take to the game and your mindset. And uh, I think, you know, for us, we just got to stay locked in for four quarters. What are your uh, Thanksgiving plans? Do you have a lot of people coming? Or you to to yeah, man, I got like, I think I had to buy like 22 tickets or something. <laughs> I don't even know who all coming, but I just got enough tickets for everybody. Um, just excited to see my family, you know, super thankful for them. Um, 
I'm just looking forward to spending time with the family after the game. Carson say you stop out there playing. Oh man, he know it. <laughs> yep. Dak said he was pissed after the loss to Kansas City. Were you guys pissed this week? What was the mentality heading into this one on the show point? You know, absolutely. Um, because we know the type of team we are, and when you don't play up to that level, especially on big stages uh, against teams like that, you know, we gotta we gotta play better. You know, it's, you know starting with myself. You know, gotta be better. And um, you know, from from those times like that, you learn a lot. You know, and it gives you everything you need to get back on track, stay focused, and always remember that from the first play throughout the game, one of them plays can make a difference. You know, that could be the, the drive where you're going down, you get three points, and on the back end, you needed those three points to win the game. So um, you got to treat every play like it's your last one. Thanks, guys. Thanks,